Exercise 18 gives us information from T accounts and asks us to recreate the transactions. Decide what must have happened based on our understanding of how the T accounts work. So when we look at letter A, letter A includes a debit to cash for 12,000, a debit to equipment for 15,200, a debit to automobiles for 24,000, and a credit to Bell's capital account for 51,200. So we have three assets increasing and a credit to the owner's capital account indicating that this was an investment by the owner. So Bell created a new business and invested $12,000 cash, $15,200 of equipment, and $24,000 in automobiles. Letter B includes a debit to prepaid insurance and a credit to cash for $4,800. The company paid $4,800 in cash in advance for insurance coverage. Letter C has a debit office supplies for $2,000 and a credit to cash. The company paid $2,000 in cash for office supplies. Letter D includes a debit office supplies for $300, a debit to equipment for $9,700, and a credit to accounts payable for $10,000. We have two assets increasing and a liability increasing. The company purchased $300 of office supplies and $9,700 of equipment on credit. Letter E, debits cash for 9000 and credits delivery services revenue for 9000 The company received $9,000 in cash for delivery services provided. Letter F includes a debit to accounts payable for 4600 and a credit to cash. The company paid $4,600 in cash toward accounts payable. And letter G is a debit to gas and oil expense for $820 and a credit to cash. The company paid $820 in cash for gas and oil.